Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terraqua Tour today. Welcome to Thursday, July 25th, 2024, day 207. Power Thirst! Still feeling good. I feel like we're bobbing up and up, up and down right now. I'm trying to figure out if that's me. Or nope, nope. It, it it was me just thinking it. We're not bobbing up and down. It's the nebula. It's got me thinking the wrong things, really. But it's been a Thursday. Uh, Lilia and Buttercup were gone for the for the majority of today. There are some there are some things that we need to get fixed up. Apparently, doctor's visits are going to get kind of difficult because of some paperwork screw-ups, and those need to get fixed. Don't need to go over all the details, but they they got messed up, so now doctor's visits are now more complicating. And then uh, then they went and got some food. Why do we have mostly donuts? We have mostly donuts. <sighs> Well, at least the kids get donuts, I guess. Oh, man, there's so many. So, someone gave us way too many. I, 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 no, we didn't buy them. We were given donuts. Just way too many of them. We were given somewhere in the ballpark of... Uh, some. Sorry, I, I got distracted with a button. Somewhere in the ballpark of a lot of donuts. So I have a whole bunch of donuts in our freezer now. Well, we got those. Um, I'm, I'm dealing with the, the paperwork to get our lease re-signed with the uh, property management. There were some discrepies on dis, discrepies. Ugh. There were some discrepancies with the pa with the lease contract that I had to get. I need them to fix up before I can sign it, because it said that we'd be response that the that the dishwasher is in good working order and that's checked. Um. This house does not have a dishwasher, nor has it ever in the five years we've lived here. There has never been a dishwasher here. We do everything by hand. So get, having them fix that up and mark off that we do have ceiling fans and those are in good working order. You know, just to make sure that nothing slips up, you know. Checking all the right boxes, you know. You don't want... I knew... I, I don't... I just had a really bad feeling that if I signed that lease how it was, with the whole dishwasher thing being listed on there, they would they would um, say that we broke our lease contract by not having a dishwasher when it said that we do. Because, uh, yeah, I've never had one. There's never been one here. It'd be nice. The problem, though, this property doesn't even have hookups for a dishwasher. So everything's by hand. Eventually, maybe what I'll have to do is just save up and get one of those like countertop dishwashers problem though the problem again is where am i going to put it we have two square feet of countertop two square feet we have one counter that's one square foot and another counter that that is one square foot that's how much countertop we have so we don't have a lot we don't have a lot of storage. And they're talking about getting rid of the shed where I keep all my yard tools. So where am I going to put my yard tools when they get rid of the shed? Because we're res on the contract, we're still responsible for the yard. This time, though, we're not responsible for low-hanging branches. So that's good. But there's more. We're still waiting on them to get rid of the trees that they cut down because I don't want the city getting mad at us for something we had no part in. Yeah, it's the usual kind of stuff. But uh, the typical lease stuff and, you know, the whole can't do business out of your home. that That's very, that's quite normal with uh, lease agreements, HOAs and stuff like that. HOAs are stupid. So if, if I'll just tell you right now, if you're going to be a home buyer, please, for the, for the love of all that is good, do not live in an HOA. They will ruin you and they'll nitpick everything, especially the people who run the HOA or manage the HOA they'll be up everything you've seen plenty I'm pretty sure many of you see have seen those videos where the HOA guys always like um excuse me your lawn isn't to code or you have something in the street that shouldn't be there could you like get rid of it right now because you're out of code with the HOA the homeowners association you need to do this like right now and they'll pester the ever living bejesus out of you at the wrong times HOAs are dumb. 
do not live in an HOA. And if you run an HOA, shame on you. <laughs> shame on you for running an HOA. No, I don't expect anyone who runs an HOA to see this, so we're good. We're good. Those who just want to have your own place, don't live in an HOA. Don't, even, don't ever agree to an HOA. It just sounds like a bad idea. I know when we finally have the ability to have our own home, it will be as far away from an HOA as possible. I also want to live in an area where we can have chickens and goats. Goats would be nice. Because think about it, goats are awesome. And, well, we've already, well, Tessa and I, Tessa's already gone over why they're good. Was it me or was it Tessa? Leaner meat than, it's leaner than beef. How about leaner and more cost effective, I guess you could say. Plus, I think it'd just be really good to have goats. Even pet goats. Just not those fainting goats. I feel bad for those things. <sighs> so there's that. Kids are going to be having some fish tonight. Thank goodness. And I'm going to I'm gonna steam some spinach. So looking forward to having some flavor tonight. But I'm just really not... I'm, I'm really not thrilled with just how many donuts we have. Well, we... With our income and how everything is and just how things just keep getting more expensive, we had to go to the, you know, one of those food bank kind of things. Yes, that's what we had to do. And for some reason, what they gave us today was an entire box of donuts. And, I, and I'm not talking like a box of donuts you buy at the grocery store. No, this was a delivery box filled with boxes of donuts. We have too many donuts. I mean, I like a donut once in a while, but I... I'm I'm not the NYPD. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's more than enough donuts to feed their entire, like, probably like four precincts or something. I don't know. There's so many freaking donuts. Like, uh, 16 boxes, uh, 16 boxes of donuts. And most of them are in our freezer now. just have to put up with it at least I got some in the freezer but there are so many it's gonna make me want to have coffee and I'm running out of coffee but they, they get to have their fish tonight I'm going what am I what am I doing for myself then oh yeah I'm gonna have a sandwich I'll have a sandwich and one of the things that was in there from the food drive is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen I thought it was just you know one of those packaged sandwiches you know, package refrigeration sand sandwiches. It was in the... They keep them in their freezer and stuff like that. But... It was... And on the label, it says... A mozzarella grilled cheese sandwich on sourdough. It is not grilled. So I... Th I just... It's one of the weirdest things I've... Why would you label it grilled cheese? Or is it like, please grill me? I'll put you on a skillet and make a toasty. There. Not hard, but still, it's already buttered and everything. It's kind of weird. Packaged, pre-packaged grilled cheese. Uh, not grilled. <clears throat> At least it's sourdough, because, believe it or not, sourdough is one of the best breads to have for a grilled cheese. I just wish it was provolone. Provolone on a grilled cheese is really, really good. It's better than Swiss. Right. There is not a whole lot else going on right now. Not a whole lot. And again, it's it was a slow day, mostly waiting on getting paperwork corrected. I think they sent me the, the replacement, but I had to do this for everyone because I'm still not going to miss a single day because I like my I'm liking my consistency. How about that? I'm also preparing for next week and next weekend because um, I gotta take I gotta. Plan, I gotta plan out my uh, shopping trip with Buttercup. She's gotta have. She, she's gonna need new school clothes for for the school year. Cause I'll look again. It was set, I think it said the fourteenth is when she goes back to school. She's going into the fourth grade, so we're gonna need fourth grade appropriate stuff, which is weird. Well, no, it's not weird. It's just it's gonna be a whole new realm of things to navigate. 
I guess. Luckily, well, I her check-ins are not next week, but the following. So the official check-ins where we meet her teacher and everything will be on the 5th. They're, they're, it's on the 5th of August, which is good. I, I can live with that and I can be happy with that. I want to meet her teacher, set the ground rules, make sure that we have communication set and ready because the last thing I want is for her to have a teacher that feels it's a good idea to not communicate with us. That's one thing I do not like with modern schools is where they get the idea they shouldn't communicate with the parents. That's a huge red flag for me, in all honesty. I can understand unique circumstances, but don't straw man using unique circumstances for individual people for an entire school um, population or yes yeah sure for an entire school of students don't don't use you know select people to hide all information from the parents you know what I mean I want to know what's going on so if there is a problem I can cor I, I can appropriately remedy a situation or if she needs extra extra tutoring and everything like that, I can have these things set up. So that's one thing I really did appreciate with last year's teacher. Her, 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 her teacher for the third grade year was really good with communicating with me. I, I appreciated that. But I always worry because I, I've seen my share of teachers who have, have a policy of not telling parents stuff. And, I, and like I said, that's just a red flag for me. But... I can worry about that in the next week and a half because it'll be on Monday, the 7th of August because right now it's the 25th. We have six days left this month, by the way, six days. We got this. And that is not the face I wanted to use. Thumbs up apparently equals this. I don't know why, but okay. But um, we've got this. There we go. Maybe I should try this. We've... Um, We've, we've got, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'll have, I need to fix the expression. I am a little bit afraid of messing up the expressions on this thing because of the, some of the functions it has. And I don't have a very good track record with fixing expressions in the current version of um, the SDK for, for VR chat, because anytime I do, it ends up working on only a single hand and not the other hand. And I need it to work on both hands because of this function. I don't want to lose that function. And I've seen my share of avatars that I want to be able to get working where you can enter, interconnect expressions from each hand. I, 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 I like that function. It's awesome. I have wasted enough of everyone's time on this Thursday. It's supposed to be my favorite day of the week, but with how things have gone this month, it's still a little bit blah. But I hope everyone else is enjoying their Thursday. Take it easy. Um, hug your family. Hug your loved ones. Have some iced tea. Sorry, British people, but iced tea is still delicious. You gotta try it sometime. Or even more often. I mean, think. Y'all are complaining about it being hot. It's By the way, it's not hot over there. It's not hot. But you complain about it being hot, have some iced tea. It's perfect for hot weather. Anyway, this is Terra Quator on your Thursday on your Thursday, July 25th, 2024, day 207. We will see you all tomorrow on Friday. See you around, everyone. Everything's over here.